the purpose of this project is to take a Victorian railway tunnel and use it for testing vehicles, race car and road car vehicles, primarily for aerodynamics but also for acoustics um, and tyre friction. A lot of it comes down to a thing called marginal gains, being able to measure a very small change. To measure a small change you need an experiment that's consistent and has low noise. So what the tunnel offers is real world conditions, it's the real car on the road moving but it's got the consistency of no temperature change and no wind movement. At the end of this site we've got four and a half acres of, of land with planning permission for various buildings. The first building going up at the moment is the Innovation Centre um, and that's going to be used as, as a base, a place to do business, a place to network and engage with customers and really the tunnel is, is, is going to be a unique tool in the world and people will come to use it and the Innovation Centre is where we'll do business. Our strategy is to support innovation and a sustainable economy in our area. We're the heart of the innovation corridor, which is the Oxford-Cambridge arc. And so supporting businesses that are innovative, in fact, the Catesby Tunnel is going to be the only one of its kind in the world that can develop new skills and help generate foreign investment and new high-value jobs. That's what SEMNET tries to do, and so the Catesby Tunnel Aerodynamic Facility is one of the very best projects to support in our area. I think it's incredibly exciting. This was an amazing piece of Victorian architecture that was built more than 100 years ago. The Victorians had the foresight to invest for the benefit of society and the economy. And that's what we need to do now as we build a 21st century, sustainable, green, clean economy. And what we're doing here is part of that. And so the innovation that we're seeing in reusing that tunnel and turning it into a world leading facility. It's incredibly exciting. This was built 123 years ago and had fallen into disuse and some disrepair. And now of course it's been, you know, reinvigorated and being brought back into use, which will provide socio-economic benefits and also provide a good example of sustainability. It looks as though uh, completion might be next year sometime and we shall have on our hands a first-class facility uh, with the potential for worldwide recognition for aerodynamic and vehicle testing. Overall I hope it brings um, income and work and investment to the UK. So the Science Park is where the business will happen, not just in the Innovation Centre, and the tunnel is the thing that will bring people together to do that business.